When it comes to real estate investing, we all have a shoulda, woulda, coulda story. Most of us know real estate can be a great investment, but taking the plunge requires good instincts and lots of practical knowledge. Gurus pop up all the time with get-rich-quick ideas. Peter Kinch is not an anyone-can-get-rich-quick guy. He is a planner, a mortgage broker, and author of the Canadian Real Estate Action Plan. It is my pleasure to welcome Peter Kinch to Studio 4 to tell us more. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. Hey, Ken. nice to meet you. Now, Warren Buffett, that guy, <laughs> he said it only takes two things to make money, having a sound plan and sticking to it. Sticking to it would be one of the key components of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No kidding. So, uh, many of us dream of buying uh, real estate, setting up a real estate portfolio. Mm -hmm. uh, but you mentioned uh, in the Canadian Real Estate Action Plan, first you have to uh, clarify your dream. Like yeah. it's one thing to talk about and say, one day I want to own a castle. But how do you clarify that dream? Well, you know, that, how do you that's... begin is the question. Yeah, and, and, and you know, Fanny, uh, I, I mean, if, if I asked you, uh, have you have you had any conversations with somebody over the past year who said, "Hey, I'm thinking of getting involved in real estate," or you know, mm -hmm. I think real estate's a good thing. And, but one of the most common things we see is people know that it's intrinsically they know it's a good thing. They have this right. concept. Yeah, I think buying real estate's a good thing. But how do I get started? And the most common thing I find when I talk to people is, well, I don't know what's realistic or not. And when I say, well, you need a vision and a goal, they go, well, I really don't. Maybe I just want to go buy something, test out the waters. And that's where I say, Aunt, wait, stop. The biggest mistake I see people making is throwing what I call throwing mud against the wall. Heck, I mean, outside your door, how many examples have we seen people in the last two years who bought uh, condos downtown mm -hmm. Vancouver, mm -hmm. right? And uh, maybe, they, they, maybe they met somebody in 2006 who flipped a condo. They, they bought one of those pre-sales put some money into it, and they're at a cocktail party, and the buddy says, oh, I flipped one of those condos in the pre-sales. I made 50, mm -hmm. 60, $70,000. And then you get starting to think. You go, well, geez, maybe I should do that. How could I get involved? And it becomes like musical chairs, almost like the greater fool theory. Well, he did it. I can do it. <laughs> Surely somebody's going to pay more money mm -hmm. than I paid. And, of course, the problem with musical chairs is when the music stops, someone's left standing without a chair, and that's exactly what happened mm -hmm. in 2008. The music stopped and suddenly you couldn't flip it for more money. And the reason was people didn't have a proper plan to begin with. So if you want a proper plan, where do you start? Well, what, what I, questions what, do you ask? The, the first thing I, I ask my, my clients when I'm working with them, somebody will come up and they'll say, hey, I want to buy some real estate, I want a mortgage. And I said, well, wait, wait a second. Can we agree on one thing? It's not the real estate that you really want. And that's, that's, that's yeah, it kind of throws people back. What do you right. mean? No, I'm, I'm here for a mortgage. I want to, I said, yeah. actually, no. If you think about it, if we really get honest with each other, it's really the results that real estate will produce that you want. It's mm -hmm. not the physical real estate. I mean, some people are really into it. Well, true. But I want a place to live, but I want it to go up. I want right. to buy it today for $800,000. And uh, in 10 years, I want it to uh, be worth enough to retire me. Well, and now we're talking about two different types of people. There's, there's the individual who's going to buy the house to live in, and they're going to hopefully mm -hmm. they can pay off that mortgage. It's going to go up in value. You know what, Fanny? The market will do what the market will do. It'll go up. It'll, it'll, you know, I always tell people, don't measure peak to valley. Measure peak to peak, because in between, it's going to do this. Sure. And what happens from the day you buy to the day you sell, if it's a long-term plan, really is irrelevant. But I'm going to look at someone who's going to come to me, and they say, well, I have a vision. And if, when I dig deeper for real estate investors in particular, not just a homeowner, but a real estate investor, and quite often what they do is they'll sit there, and, and, and when we really dig a little deeper, they've got a lifestyle vision. Okay. Okay. Like Brian and Michelle in this book. Exactly. Tell me about Brian and Michelle. Well, Brian and Michelle are a, a very typical couple, you know, mm -hmm. a Canadian couple. Brian works, he's self-employed. Michelle has a government job. They're busy. They got two kids. They tax him back and forth between soccer and hockey. And you know what? Now Brian, on top of his full-time job, is, is sitting there going, I want to go buy real estate. And Michelle's going like, no bloody way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Where are right. we going to get the time? Where are you going to mm -hmm. get the money? Hey, that equity, we got equity, but that's, that's more just luck in the market rather than brilliance on your part, Brian. Yes. You know, how many couples are having this conversation mm -hmm. across Canada? Many. And that's why I wrote the book. It was to, to, to target them and say, look, okay, before you take that hard-earned equity, which may have been a gift from the market, and, and, and before you take it and just throw money against the wall and hope it sticks, sit down and ask yourself, what results do you really need from the real estate you're going to produce? When I, and Good when I question. ask that, what's really it's fascinating, Fanny, sometimes I'll ask somebody and say, 
uh, tell me what results. And, and let's forget about the reels. Forget about what you're planning to buy. Mm. What is it that you really want? And when I get into dealing with couples, to be honest, I've been working with thousands of couples across Canada, and it's powerful for me as a mortgage broker because I go, wow, people really have f amazing visions and, and, sure. and, and goals. And it gave me a vision that if I can help them accomplish their goal, mm -hmm. then we, we build a plan. So I started doing workshops where we actually build a three-phase action plan, and I do what's recalled a reverse engineering approach. Start with the end result in mind, work backwards, identify the obstacles you're going to accomplish, uh, uh, encounter, right. and then put together a three-phase action plan to overcome the obstacles. But every decision you make is in the context of the goal you're trying to accomplish. Okay, so the three-phase action plan is what? What are the three phases? Well, phase one, I break a, a five year. I, I, I say, well, let, let's say, what are you going to accomplish over the next five years? You could be, every individual will be different. It could be five, right. 10, 15. Sure. Now let's break that down into uh, instead of saying, well, I'm going to have a five year goal, let's break it into 18 month segments. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, obviously, if you're going to buy real estate for investment purposes, we've identified the why. That's first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I want this end result. Let me give you an example. A couple I, I dealt with in Calgary retired, they're 65 years old, and they sold their company. They got lots of cash. And they were thinking of buying some property in Parksville, and they asked me, oh, is this a good investment? I'm like, I don't know. Tell me what your reason is. What do you want? Mm -hmm. Well, when I dug deeper, they were looking to develop wealth to transfer to the next generation. Oh. And I thought, well, that's interesting. That could be 10, 15 years a goal, right? And, and it's a foundation for future generations. I like that. Now, uh, raw land in Parksville that has the potential for rezoning redevelopment over 10, 15 years, possibly, with all you know, without knowing it more about mm -hmm. the details, that could be a potentially good investment for that particular couple. I met another couple and I said, what, what's your goal? Well, Joey you want, here wants to retire in five years. Joey, how much do you make every month? Well, I make 4000 a month. Oh, okay, so now your real estate investment must produce at least enough money for you to sub, uh, replace your income. Exactly. Right? Now that same raw land in Parksville would be a bad investment for those people. Mm -hmm. How about the couple who wanted to sail around the world? Take time off. A sail around the world and yeah. uh, you set their goals for them or with them and uh, they kept getting off track Absolutely. you know when you're building a real estate portfolio and you've got a little wreck property you might have a condo here you might have an investment property in Chilliwack uh, and then you take a big flyer and somebody has to pull you back and say no 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 mm -hmm. if you want to sail around the world and let your real estate investment fund that you have to stay true to your goals. Would that make sense? Absolutely. Well, you, well, let's go back to Warren Buffett's quote that you opened with. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> stick to, stick to, have a plan, but stick uh -huh. to it. And we, we that, that was a great example where we sat down with a couple, and they, 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 you know, I don't try to to tell what, tell people what to do. So you tell me what you want. I'll tell mm -hmm. you. I don't care whether you think it's realistic or not. I'll just tell you what's required to accomplish the goal. I sure. told these people what's required, and then boom, they immediately went off and started doing something else. And all I said is, look. You can do that, but that won't result in this. So just reevaluate what you really want. And how often do we see people get caught up by the shimmer, the glimmer? Oh, that looks attractive. I'll go chase that. Right. And you need to stay focused. But uh, d 